All right, so I want to have a discussion about some stuff that I've been reviewing. Well, not, like, not really reviewing, but trying to get to work. And I'm going to give it a bit of a review just because it's not working very well. And I'm super disappointed. So a while ago, I bought that guy, the Rat Rig. And I thought, perfect. It's going to be an awesome machine. I have a bore on. I have bamboos. I'm like, it's going to be a perfect example of what to add to my farm. So I can print multiple things at one time with the IDEX heads. So there is two heads there for IDEX. And it's, in my mind, uh, it's perfect, right? I can print three items on one side, three on the other, the no time ad addition. So I essentially could make six items at the same time with three. I was like, this is gonna help my production so much better. And so I bought it thinking it was gonna be the next best thing. Well, unfortunately, IDEX is still so new, it doesn't work as well as it's supposed to. Um, after 49 hours, I've successfully printed like five items and they're not that great, honestly. And the, it's really di di stressful to try to like make things work when you're, you know, trying to make things work and it's just not working that way. And as an example, right? So I printed the same item. So this was printed on my Voron, right? It's pretty clean, pretty smooth. Parts move really, really well, right? This took 28 minutes. This one was printed on the rat rig. It is way dirtier as far as it's hard to tell with the quality here, but the parts don't move as well. And on most test parts, the leg is actually broke. This took 38 minutes. So almost 10 minutes longer for worse quality. Um, if I double it down, yeah, okay, cool. If both IDEX is working fine, I can get two for the same price. That is, that's amazing. Um, but you know, the consistency doesn't ever work properly. Um, as far as the build goes, the build was amazing, right? Like it was pretty, pretty easy to do. It wasn't a lot of issues with the build. The instructions are a little eh, but I mean, compared to some instructions, they were actually pretty good. Um, it, it's just clarity, right? But I mean, I had no real major issues. The wiring diagrams were spot on and the OS to set this thing up took like 15 minutes. Like it took me three days to get the Voron properly programmed and updated and calibrated and blah, 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 blah. But I mean, that was doing it by hand manually. This guy's OS searches the board, searches tool heads, searches everything. It does it all, installs it all, keeps it updated. It's amazing. So, I mean, that is what this is good for. But as far as like printing lately, not so good. So they advertise 10K acceleration, 600 millimeters a second, and all these really high-end specs. <laughs> I mean, maybe single tool head works perfectly fine. Um, I'm barely a third of that. And it still skips belts. And the quality is eh, not great. So I can't give that section a lot of prop because I can't get it to work despite 49 hours of calibration. And it took me five days to build. But I mean, that's not a big deal. It took a week to do my Voron. So. Not much of a comparison there. Um, the 3030 rails on this thing, sturdy. This thing is heavy. It's like 120 pounds. It's insane. I mean, the build plate alone is like, it's eight millimeters solid steel. It probably weighs like 30 pounds on its own. But I mean, so rat rig, great machine. Um, but right now it's a paperweight. I have debated about taking both IDAXs off, going straight single tool ahead and sucking it up and having a spare something because I don't know what to do um, and apparently this is not just me the community has had a lot of people that can't get it work maybe one in ten seem to get the IDEX with them properly um, and when it comes to like say stacking it um, I had some prints uh, even with proper settings they are still offset even though they're the same one tool head is actually mildly shrunk they're like a millimeter. It, 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 I can't get the alignment perfect and it doesn't seem to want to be perfect. And that um, seems to be an issue. The longer you stack them up and down, the more the mix match gets where they overlap each other pro improperly and it becomes a thing. So I'm hoping that one day we get this thing to work properly. But as far as my review for the Rat Rig V Core 4 IDEX, I'm going to give it like a six out of 10. Most just because the bill was easy, the concept is awesome, um, and I mean it does have high potential, but I'm giving it a massive failure on print quality um, and the reliability that I was expecting because right now my bamboos 
or uh, printing it four to one. And this was supposed to do the opposite. I mean, so, I mean, for the money I paid, I don't know if I'm gonna recoup it. At least not by itself. It's gonna have to use, rely on the other machines to recoup the money I, bill, I paid. Cause until I get it working properly, it's just not working. And like I said, I might just switch this thing straight from IDEX, straight tool head. Then maybe apparently they get better that I can speed it up, do more with it. Might only maybe that it, it's better with ABS and pet, you know, I've been pushing PETG and PLA through it, and I was hoping those would be my two materials I use the most. But uh, we'll keep playing with it. I'm not giving up on it, but um, I, I honestly don't know what to do anymore with it. But I mean, here I'll show you my Voron. You can see what I'm talking about because the quality on this machine is absolutely insane when I throw the comparison on. So here. This is the Voron chugging away at a mini Mando helmet. And like those layers are flawless. And that's only taking about eight hours to do. And earlier we made a helmet from Halo for the Master Chief. And like that is clean. So, I mean, gives you an example um, of what I'm talking about. My little really inexpensive fixed repaired Voron is kicking the pants off of my overly expensive rat rig and it should be the other way around. I mean, honestly, I bought it because I wanted to make cosplay helmets, but they'll have to scale down. My little Voron's only 300 by 300. I always have my bands to 250 by 250. Most helmets don't fit um, unless I split them up and I want to print them in full parts so it's less maintenance and fixing for the end user. Um, it looks like I'm going to be going back to printing them as multiple parts for the end user to reassemble on their side because the primary option just is not working. But uh, yeah, no, uh, keeping it real and going from there. But uh, yeah, uh, thought I'd keep you guys up put dated on why I haven't had a lot of content on my rat rig because there's not much content. Unless you want to see me failing every day and reprinting the same thing, trying to adjust the things. Oh, and one fun prospect of that is like, so every printer, mostly like the bamboos, and the Vorons all use a 5020 or 5010 blower fan for the cooling of parts, right? Um, the Voron uses like a 4040. Um, if you don't turn the firmware down from one to say like 0.75 of max power, it's like a jet engine turns on in your office and you can't hear anything three feet away. It is incredibly loud and incredibly annoying. So you're playing with excessively high span speeds and if you don't tweak them just right on your cooling settings it actually messes things up too so maybe that's my problem i'm pretty sure it's not because i've managed to get decent outer coloring but the consistency and layering is not great so i don't know but uh yeah no uh just thought i'd mention that i kind of forgot about that i was going to mention earlier but yeah no so anyways i'll show you the picture you can still the video here up the battery so you guys see what it looks like and make the judgment call yourself and whether or not you want to pick one up or tinker with one because i mean it is definitely not a beginner's thing and it does not work out of the box i added the screen on they don't come with these but uh super nice screen to have i added a camera i love zip ties apparently um so these are the idex heads t0 and t1 they work pretty nicely but I mean, that was annoying to get set up and uh, yeah.